<sighs> Nowadays, everyone is connected to their phones. It is impossible to imagine a life without technology since people's routines depend on a small rectangular screen. But what happens when someone on the other side hacks your phone and watches your every move? Kim Tae-joon's Unlocked unveils a thrill that follows a young girl whose life is turned upside down. The movie uses the fear of digital surveillance to drive the story forward, but certain aspects feel disconnected. After a night out of drinking, Nami falls asleep on the bus and loses her smartphone. A young man on the bus takes her phone, who happens to be a serial killer. When she wakes up the next day, she gets a call from a young woman about her phone being sent to a repair shop. The young man, Jun Yeren, pretends to be a woman and speaks to Nami using pre-recorded audio to talk to her. At the store, Jun Yeren disguises himself with a mask and a hat to completely hide his face. Nami arrives at the store to collect and repair her phone. Instead, Jun Yeren installs spyware to track her everyday life passwords. Unlocked has the elements to make a perfect thriller movie. Many murder mysteries follow serial killers stalking their victims using digital surveillance. However, it fails to keep the audience on the edge of their seats. The lack of character development, especially Nami, designed as a side character with gullible instincts, suddenly turns into the main protagonist with sharp instincts to take Junior down. Nami's connection with her father and best friend is barely explored. Moreover, this problem is present in Jiamen's connection with Jun Yeren. The movie suggests that the police detective's son is responsible for the murders. In the first act, Jiamen secretly finds his son's apartment and records a massive amount of evidence but never submits it to the police. Perhaps it might be the instinct to save and find his son due to their seven-year estrangement, however, the locked never explores it. As the story progresses, it's clear that this connection between G-Man and Jun Yeren is an attempt to generate shock in the audience. The problem is that too many ideas and themes collide together. The movie could have worked well if it solely focused on the stalker plot, but when Nami's revenge and G-Man's secret investigation come together in the third act, along with the unpredictable twist, the movie scrambles to conclude with a cohesive ending. The lack of character exploration leaves a bitter taste and leaves the audience unable to connect emotionally with Nami and G-Man. Unlocked doesn't bring any new ideas to the dangers of digital surveillance. Instead, the movie loses focus on the character's journey in the narrative, which fails to mesh them all together at the end. Kim uses the point of view shots of Nami's phone to perceive as if the audience on Jun Yerma is watching her all the time as she scrolls through her phone, texts her friends, and travels everywhere. This technique builds tension and lets the audience understand the lack of boundaries intensifies the movie's plot. It's elements like this that have the potential to be a great thriller, but it doesn't sufficiently explore everything, while it may have some faults. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more video like this then please. Like, share, and subscribe. 내가 뭘 잘못했는데? 왜 이렇게 소중한 걸 아무데나 떨어뜨리고 다녀? 이렇게까지 하는 이유가 뭐야?